Hey everyone! Welcome to Duplication Challenge Day 3. My name is Masha Chimajar and in today's video we're gonna talk about the three-step recruiting process that always duplicates. So if you're just dialing in make sure you go right below this video and tell me your name, tell me where you're dialing in from and we're gonna get started here in just a minute. Um, if you're a network marketing leader that is hoping to create more duplication, hoping to create more results, you're in luck because each and every single day we're going live with videos just like this, talking about duplication and helping you step by step to actually create more duplication. So as you're dialing in, welcome, welcome. Uh, make sure you tell me where you're dialing in from and make sure you go below and tag all your teammates or share this on Facebook because we have literally hundreds of people that are following us for the last three days and this is day three of duplication challenge. And like I said, today we're actually going to talk about recruiting but we're going to talk about recruiting in a way how you actually need to be doing your recruiting and what the process needs to be so that it starts to duplicate through your team because one of the worst things that I see people struggle with is that they go out and they actually learn how to recruit and they're successful in adding the next 10, 20, even 30 people to their team but then in the next 30, 60, 90 days, they literally have nobody who is actively taking action. Have you guys ever experienced that? Uh, give me some likes, give me some hearts if you can hear me. Uh, make sure you tell me your name and where you're dialing in from. And we're gonna be talking about what you have to do in your recruiting so that it duplicates through your team so that you're not the only one doing all the work. Have you ever experienced that? I, I certainly have. And so really, really importantly, let's now really start talking about duplication. Uh, in our first day duplication challenge a couple of days ago, we talked about how 80 plus percent of our income or more in network marketing, in my case, it's something like 99% of my income comes from duplication and how duplication is absolutely everything to your business. And we need to look at duplication in terms of the endless network marketing funneling. And that, what that means is when somebody new starts in your business, when you sponsor somebody new or one of your teammates sponsors a new person into your business, that is just the start of taking them through many steps and taking them up the ladder to of course creating a leader, a top income earner. Um, so it's really, really important that you actually keep track of that. That one of the most important things you can do is not just go out and sponsor more people, but know and have a process so that you can take a person from sponsoring them and helping them to ascend that ladder so that you can create teams of thousands of people from just one person. So if you're in for that, if you wanna learn that, Give me a quick like, give me a quick uh, share, and welcome, Jen, welcome, Dave. Here's some of our lawyer fo followers. And like I said, today we're gonna talk about the three-step recruiting process that is necessary so that you can start the duplication in your team. So let's talk a little bit about recruiting. So <clears throat> I wanna first share a story. A long time ago, when Miguel and I started in network marketing, uh, one of the things that we used to do is, of course, you know, do all of our work one-on-one -on -one with people and ourselves. So we used to talk to people on the phone and then drive to meet them, have a one-on-one -on -one meeting for about two hours. And you know what? If we were lucky, we convinced them to join our team, except there is a big problem with that. Now, first of all, any one of you have ever done that? And don't feel bad if you have, because this is a huge learning process for us as well a few years ago. And what we learned out of that is, number one, we don't want to spend so much time with one person so that they join our team, yes or no, right? And number two, what we started to understand, which was really the most important thing is, nobody that we recruited actually wanted to start doing what we were doing, which is driving around the city and having eight to 10 one-on-one -on -one meetings in coffee shops, which were actually extending our days to something like 12, 16 hour days. I mean, nobody, literally nobody wanted to do that. And no matter how excited they were about this business, we couldn't find anyone that was actually doing what we were doing, right? So what I believe was really, really crucial, you know, to our success is one day we actually went to a generic training event. In fact, I think, you know, you just never know where the knowledge, where the final light bulb moment is actually gonna happen for you. And you know, sometimes it's really interesting, our upline or our leaders have told us things over the years, 
but somehow we didn't hear it. And it actually took us to go to a, an event where there was a speaker that was not a part of our network marketing company. And guess what? He said something that really just, you know, created a light bulb moment for us. Can you guys see that? So sometimes even though, you know, your team, you're telling your team to do things, isn't it interesting? that somehow they need to hear it from a third party, just from someone else to be able to actually take the action on it. And so that's what happened to us. So we went to this event and the speaker said this really famous words that I will never forget. And this is where it really kind of just dawned on me what we were doing wrong. And the speaker said, well, first of all, you know, when you are doing your recruiting, you have to be doing it in a way where your brand new person, if they say yes and you sign them up, they can repeat it tomorrow. And I'm thinking, wow, can my new person that signs up today really repeat the one-on-one -on -one presentation that I've literally practiced months and months and perfected it and know what to say and everything about the company? Even if my brand new recruit was the top, you know, it was a super, super, super human, they could not learn all of that overnight. And that's when it dawned on me, what we were doing was not duplicatable. And that was the exact reason our recruiting was low. And that was the exact reason nobody was actually doing what we were doing. So when we ended up recruiting, they couldn't repeat what we were doing. Does it make sense? Is this making sense, guys? Give me a few likes if you're still here. And if you're just joining us, make sure you tell me your name. Uh, go right below this video and say, I'm dialing in from so-and-so. Tell me where you're changing uh, the world from. And so it was really, really crucial to us. What I'm sharing is it was crucial to us to understand that what you're doing in your recruiting is actually duplicatable. Because if you're not doing that, guess what? Your people will not actually want to join. Your prospects will look at you and say, well, it's good for you, but I don't think I can do it. Have you ever heard that excuse? Yes, sound familiar? Yeah, it's good for you, Masha, but I don't think I can do what you're doing. So guess what? If you're experiencing that, then what I'm about to share with you, which is the three-step recruiting process that always duplicates, is the thing that you need. And that's what today is a really important video. And you're going to have lots of lots of homework on this as you get to practice it. Are you guys ready? If you guys ready, give me a few likes and we're right going into it. So here it goes. The three steps, you know, recruiting process that always duplicates. So here's what we do. We have step one, we have step two, and we have step three, right? So we have one, two, and three. And these three steps are all to do with you sharing your business, your opportunity, your products with the prospect. So we're going to talk about a recruiting process that always duplicates, which means that your brand new person that if they decide to join today, they can do this tomorrow. You're with me? Okay. So what you need to do in step one is very important is a phone call. Okay. So here you actually do a phone call. So after you've created some relationship with a brand new prospect, you're going to be picking up the phone and sharing or inviting this person to have a look at your business opportunity. And while we're not going to go into the details of what to say today, because actually tomorrow we're going to follow up. This is, you know, we're doing this every single day for the next 30 days or so. To, in tomorrow's video, we're going to actually talk all about what to say on this phone call. Okay. How to say what to say. But first of all, you have to actually create a relationship with someone. Now, if you already know someone well enough, you're going to pick up the phone and invite them and you're going to invite them to have a look at your business. You're not going to share everything on the phone. This is actually a two minute phone call that is going to lead into the second step. And the second step is actually directing this person to a recorded video presentation. Okay. So you're going to be telling this person, you're going to be inviting them to have a look at a video, which actually describes everything about your business. And the reason you're going to be directing them to a video is of course, Number one, you're going to save time, energy, and money. Number one, because when you direct someone to watch a video, are you spending your own time repeating yourself over and over for two hours, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, telling them all about your product and opportunity? No, you're not. So we're going to be using a recorded video presentation to tell the prospects an overview about your business. Okay. 
And in the third step, you're actually going to follow up again on a phone call, okay? So this phone call is a follow-up phone call and on this phone call, you're actually going to be collecting a decision from the prospect. So this is an outline of a simple three-step recruiting process. So this is how it goes. I'm going to take you right through it so that it makes more sense to you. This is the structure and this is what we do. So let's assume I have a prospect called Mary. Let me put it like this so you guys see it better. Let's assume that we have a prospect called Mary. And Mary and I have been friends for a while and I know that she's looking for an opportunity so she can have, so she can spend more time working from home and spend time with her children. So what I would do is I would pick up the phone and say, hey Mary, you know, uh, you told me how you want to decrease your hours and work potentially with an opportunity from home, working from home so you can spend more time with your children. If I could show you how to do that, would you go and watch a 20 minute video of an overview of a business that can help you to do that? So what have I just done? I've invited Mary to look at my business. I have not yet told her anything about the business, but I've related to Mary in terms of her dreams and her goals, her pain in her life, so that she knows that what I have potentially in my business can help her to create a transformation in her life. Because your prospect doesn't care how good your product is yet. Your prospect doesn't care the name of the company that it is. So are you guys getting this? So what you're doing here on this quick phone call is directing them to a, a recorded video, which the prospect will actually watch in their own time. And after that, you're going to follow up with a phone call and collect a decision. Now, we're not going to go into great details of each of these three steps because in the next few videos, tomorrow and the day after, we're going to talk about the scripts on these two phone calls. We're going to talk about the difference, the differences in different prospects and how to say things to different people and so on. But what I want you to get today is that if you are recruiting anything different to this, you're probably spending a lot of precious time and you're actually wasting time where you could be actually spending more time recruiting. And number two, you're probably recruiting in a way where most prospects look, to, look at you and say, guess what? I don't think I can do what you're doing. And therefore, I don't think I want to join your business. And therefore, your recruiting is not as successful as you could potentially be. It, when you are using, you know, a three-step simple recruiting process that always duplicates. Is this making sense, guys? And if you're just recently joining us, welcome, welcome. I want to welcome all of our friends. Make sure you go and like our Facebook fan page if you're right on here. And then go ahead and tell me where you're dialing in from. And if you're getting value, make sure you tag all your teammates. Because these videos are probably going to make such a huge difference in your business so that you can finally start recruiting more so that you can finally start to duplicate more in your business. And so what we're sharing today is that it's actually important how you recruit if you want to actually be more successful at recruiting, but more importantly, if you want the new recruit to actually start doing what you're doing tomorrow. So, hey, Rochelle, uh, we have Rochelle and Rochelle, we have Jill, we have lots of other people down in. It's awesome to have you guys. So if you have any questions, make sure you put them right below this video because I will reach out to you and answer all of the questions after we finish. Also, I want to make sure that you know we're doing a live webinar next week on duplication. And if you're watching these videos and you're following us online, you absolutely want to be on this webinar because we're going to go into the details of how to create duplication. In fact, we're going to share how in the last um, uh, 14 months alone, I, I think it's 14 months or so, we've created an additional 3,000 people in our team and how we use duplication systems to do that. So if you're someone who's starting out in network marketing and you want to go to a six-figure annual residual income, this will be a must webinar for you. And even more, if you're an existing leader with a team and you're already earning six figures right now, but you want to go to multiple six figures and beyond to seven figures, this is going to be an eye opener for you because you know, I believe that as you're starting to go closer to six figures in network marketing, it's really not possible to work any harder. It's really not possible to put any more time into your business. You guys hearing me? Any of you experiencing this before, like you're working around the clock, but your income is not increasing? And therefore, you need some specific processes that will increase your duplication, especially if you already have a few people in your team, right? So step number one, we talked about the recruiting process and how important it is that you actually have these three simple steps so that the people that you sponsor today will actually repeat 
what you're doing tomorrow. Now, let's go through this. If I recruit Mary, and I was giving an example of Mary just before, if I recruit Mary today and she joins my business, if she knows about this video that she needs to share and she knows what to say on the phone before and after the video, can she go and introduce this to anybody she knows? Absolutely. Are you guys getting this? Can you see how simple your business really can be if you know what you want to do, what you have to do to be able to create more create more results in your recruiting and in duplication. So it's essential that you understand that, you know, not only your recruiting will increase if you start to do this, but also your duplication. And that's where really the big money is. You see, if you're right now just, you feel like you're on a treadmill, you're earning perhaps a few hundred dollars, or you're earning even a few thousand dollars right now in your network marketing business, you need to start thinking in terms of duplication. How can you increase the duplication in your business? And like I said, in this um, duplication challenge that we're doing for the next 30 days, I'm going to be giving you strategies each and every single day so that you can increase your duplication and increase results. And so very, very, very important. Uh, we're getting a few different things, a few questions that I'm going to reach out and definitely answer for you guys. And we're also going to be posting a graphic about what I've just been talking about because my graphic here is really obviously not very good. But we're going to be posting graphic right below this video so you can share it with your team. And I really encourage you, if you got value, make sure you tag all your teammates below your video because we're going to be doing the same thing tomorrow with a brand new strategy on duplication, 10 o'clock Australia time, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Until then, make sure you go above this video and click on the link if you want to be a part of this very special training we're doing next week. So if you want to learn more about duplication, make sure you go right below and say, yes, I want to learn more about duplication. And if you can't find the link, tell me I want the link, Masha, and I will share it with you. So in the meantime, so good to have so many of you back online today. Make sure you go and share it with your team. And I will see you again tomorrow in a video where I'm going to talk about exactly what to say on this phone call so that you can invite the person to look at your business in a way that is duplicatable, in a way that your team is going to skyrocket and you can create more results. Thanks so much for everyone for joining us. Make sure you watch this video in its entirety and, and share it with your team. See you again tomorrow for day four in our duplication challenge.